Hey, what's up you guys? It's Victor from Cyborg for Life. And today I want to talk about a simple but common question that I get quite often, and that's if the newly formed bone after limb lengthening is as strong as your bone pre-surgery. Now, if you came here for the quick answer, you want to bounce right after, I'm not going to hold you up. The answer is yes. I'll see you later. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and dig in a little bit. So how do bones heal? Well, when most soft tissues like muscles or skin are damaged, they're going to heal back with scar tissue, which it's possibly going to look a little bit different and impact the way that it functions, okay? But when bone heals itself, it does so with actual bone, okay? And not scar tissue, and it can go back to its original texture, pre-fracture, break, or limb lengthening, okay? And it can even be hard to see on an x-ray, although there are some cases in which it doesn't. Now, the rate at which this bone healing takes place is gonna be based on, you know, age and other health and hygiene factors. For example, younger patients are gonna typically heal a little bit faster than those who are significantly older than them. And those who have, you know, a lot of good health are gonna heal a little bit faster than those who might smoke or vape, okay? Now, what are the phases of bone healing? So there's gonna be three distinct phases. Phase one is known as the inflammatory phase. And this is when your body's immune system will create a hematoma or a blood clot at the site of the break so that your body can send in the cleanup crew and heal the damage, okay? Now phase two is um, known as the repair phase and this can happen a few days after surgery so your body can form this envelope-like cocoon around the break and stabilize the bones so that you know new bone regenerate can form in this gap, okay? And this is why you don't start lengthening right away. You, you wait about five or maybe even a week, you know, seven days after their initial, initial surgery, okay? As this callus forms with, you know, bone matrix, it becomes a bony callus. And this is when you start to distract, okay? This is where your distraction phase starts, where you start to slowly pull the bone ends apart and bony fragments will start to be regenerated in the gap in the process that we all know and love, known as distraction osteogenesis, AKA limb lengthening, okay? Now, phase three is known as the remodeling phase. And this is where the cloudy bony matrix inside of this gap, you know, the distracted ends, are gonna to start to break down and rebuild via the osteoclast and osteoblast. And this is your consolidation phase where you are rebuilding the bone cortices so that you can weight bear and the remodeling will take place over time to rebuild this rock hard, solid, compact bone that you're gonna to need to get back to doing things like running, jumping, sprinting, um, and even you know combat sports like martial arts, okay? Now the actual appearance might you know remain distorted for you know years afterwards due to like hypertrophic stimuli that needed to reinforce the break site, like I showed in one of my x-rays in a previous video, okay? Um, but don't take my word for it. Um, Lemon cleaning surgeons have all said the same thing. The bone starts out being soft, right. but eventually it consolidates and it becomes harder and harder. So when, you, when you're done, it is normal bone. It's not fake bone. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't wear out. You don't have to worry about it. I mean, once it's healed, it's healed. I actually just did a telehealth visit uh, before I, I started my interview with you with a with a patient of mine, Dan, mm -hmm. who you know was just having some knee pain, and uh, came. And I had done surgery for him seven years earlier for a leg length discrepancy, mm -hmm. and we were both admiring the beautiful bone that you couldn't even see. You couldn't even tell what was the lengthened bone and what was the re what was the original bone because it's not fake bone. It's it's a hundred percent normal mm -hmm. bone. The b body has the ability to regenerate bone. Mm -hmm. And so to answer your question, it is it's it's just as strong eventually, but it takes time to get to that point. Absolutely. We usually take the rods out about a year later mm -hmm. and by that point the bones are as strong as normal bone. So as you can see, your bones will be good as new after limb lengthening. All right, guys, I know it was a short one, but that's all I have for you today. Until next time, this is Victor from Cyborg Life, signing out. Peace.